Hello and welcome to the Z-Hut. Today, I would like to show you a uh, easy and inexpensive way to vacuum seal your 3D printer filament. Now, when you first get your filament, you know, generally it's in a vacuum sealed bag. And uh, on a rare occasion, they have Ziploc bags, but if you buy the more inexpensive brands, um, generally not, so that you cannot reseal them. So instead of buying a vacuum machine, uh, there is a much cheaper and easier way to do this. Number one, just go down to your local store and get the two gallon size freezer bags, Ziploc freezer bags. Make sure they're the two gallon. The one gallon is not quite big enough for these. Now I've got one here. Now I reuse these bags. I get quite a few uses out of them. And if it just gets like one little pinhole somewhere, you can put a piece of tape on it and still use it for a little while. Uh, the only other things you're going to need is you're going to need a vacuum as an attachment hose. And then, beans, you've got a 3D printer, you just need to make one of these. It's a little nozzle that fits on the vacuum cleaner <laughs> attachment. And uh, it's just got an extension that's a few inches long. And then there's a little hole here so that it doesn't, uh, when it's, the vacuum doesn't overload the vacuum cleaner and, and cause damage to the motor. You don't need the full suction that your vacuum can put out. Uh, not necessary. All right, so let me show you how to do this. Now I've got my spool. I've got it clipped. I recommend using the clips and not to stick it through the side because that can poke a hole in your bag. We will put it in. Now I usually save my silica packs and I store them in a separate little Ziploc bag. Um, I am out of them at the moment. This is the only spool I have that doesn't have a silica pack at the moment, but normally I would put that in and put it up right next to the roll. Don't put it in the center. Don't put it in the center here. That would be pointless because when you vacuum seal it, it's not going to be able to draw any moisture that's in there. All right. Then, go ahead and we seal it up most of the way. Grab our vacuum cleaner here. Stick the attachment in, and then you want to bring it in towards the spool. If you try to do it the outside of the bag, it'll suck down. There'll still be air in here, and it won't it won't want to suck it all out. And we'll check and make sure we have the bag zip locked up to the nozzle. And then we will turn on our vacuum. I think I got it there. The first time I did it, it didn't quite zip shut, so I did it again. As you pull the nozzle out, you'll get it past the Ziploc, but you still want it, you know, so it's in that little lip of the bag, and then zip it before you pull it all the way out. And yes, it looks like I got it. Now, it's not, it didn't remove every single bit of air in there, but this is a lot better than if you had, you know, no, no vacuum at all. This is way better. And then generally, um, before I put it in the box, I have a big rubber band that fits around these as well. Um, I forgot to grab it. I put that on there because that just kind of holds it in and helps keep the bag from trying to expand and suck air in. All right, that's all there is to it. Hope you found this information useful. You did give us a thumbs up. So with that, I'll say I uh, hope you have a great day. And, uh, well, have fun vacuum sealing your 3D printer filament.